I'm constantly on the lookout for new, innovative, and different tech. And I was lucky enough to be reached out to by Simo. Simo. By Panjissimo. 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 And obviously they released a speaker set that I have just never seen before. I'm excited to unbox this with you guys, give you my first impressions as well as set up this stereo speaker system. So let's just jump right into it. As you can see on the back of the box, it's pretty cool that because you have a stereo setup, you're able to be immersed in, in the, the music, music that you are playing. playing. There's a multi-connector, so you're able to charge and connect, all with... I don't know yet. I haven't unboxed it yet. Let's just jump into it. It does say that there is simultaneous charging. Very cool. We have Bluetooth streaming at 5.8 gigahertz. It has audio. Look it. There's the size of it. Oh, there's also a microphone. That's pretty cool. Uh, also says that there's eight hours of built-in battery. So you can um, watch like four movies on your phone with the SEMO stereo speaker system. All right, let's just open this. Stupid. Mm, this way, unboxings are weird. Oh, there's paperwork in here. Uh, and nothing, that's it. That's all that's in this box. Okay. Shoo. Obviously we have our, our speaker set right here, as well as a USB-C cable. Hard oh, I like it. Okay, so listen, Tom rant for a second. I am sick of companies providing just the cable. Like if you know your product's going to be plugged into a wall, include a power brick. I'm looking at you, Apple, and I don't know, the other stupid company that's doing it now too. Samsung, I don't know, somebody threw shade and they're not including it now. Reference somewhere on screen right now. Here we go, Pangissimo. Here we go. Hey, Post Tom, remember to put a mustache on me, like a Mario mustache every time I say Pangissimo. Thanks, man. All right, here we go. We have buttons, ports, first time setting up and turning on. See, I think I'll figure it out. And surround mode, that's the important thing. Shut up, computer. Okay, so we'll figure this out. We'll keep this uh, readily available if necessary, but we're just gonna open this bad boy up, take a peek at it. There it is, let's get rid of these. Um, I forgot that it had a handle. Power button right there and our Bluetooth connectivity. Each of the other speakers, nothing on the front, but they do have individual powers on the back. I have a feeling I'm going to have to look at the instructions, but I'm not going to. Not yet, anyway. All right, so let's open up our phone. I only have 8% on this. This better be a quick video. All right, so we'll leave open our Bluetooth. Let's power these on. One. Looks like we're gonna be plugging this in. Are there any indicator? Oh, there we go, indicator lights. Anything on the back? Nothing on the back. Let's, uh, let's try to power it on. Come on. Come on. Making me look like a fool not reading the instruction books. Can I power the rest of these on? Using all four fingers right now. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, that's a button. Does that button do anything? I didn't realize that those were tangible buttons. Um, it might just have to be charged. Power button. What is there, no sound indicator for power? Or does it really need to be charged out of the box? This is totally insane, doing an unboxing. Well, at least I can connect to the neighbor's TV. That's cool. This is definitely gonna be a segmented unboxing. Okay, so nearly the whole day has gone by and this had the charge the entire time. I want to say no fault of my own. You can see that there are four white indicator lights now. The way we did that was turned on simply by pressing each power button. And now they're all off. So to turn them back on, all we're doing is pressing each one. I hope this works. This is terrible. 
This is what I'm saying. The power functionality is just so inconsistent. Pressing the button, it's still not turning on. What am I missing? I love that like I was, I was going for redemption story. I was going for, it was my fault that it didn't turn on. Totally not the case. This thing doesn't turn on because it's, it, it, it's missing the mark on a handful of totally necessary indications. There's just so much that is problematic. It's still not turning on. Seriously, how long am I supposed to pretend that this is okay? This is ridiculous. Okay, so this video is obviously taking way longer than it probably should have, but I figured out something to Simo's defense. My Bluetooth isn't working, and not just with my phones or computer. That's the, that's all finding the Andean great, which makes me think it's defective. Hear me out. I now ran from my phone a auxiliary cable. Music. 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 Well, this one's not powering on, but three for four isn't bad. So, long story short, this was one of those things that was most definitely a really big ass ache. But I wanted to make sure I was thorough enough in the representation of this that I covered all the bases. And there's a lot of parts of this video that I, I cut out because I had to learn along the way. I can't say that I'm happy. I can't say that I'm happy with my experience with this product. In the little bit of time that I've been using the plug uh, directly into the unit, it sounds great. And it's very cool that I can split up speakers into a stereo sound, but the purpose of a Bluetooth system that's able to do that is what really tickles my fancy. And I wasn't able to do it. So with that being said, I'm hesitant to say anything that's even remotely positive about this. I have already reached out to the PR rep that uh, contacted me originally. So with that being said, if there's any follow-ups from them with the SEMO, I will let you know in the first line of the description below. If at the point where they send me another one, I will do a full review on it for you guys. If that interests you, be sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, be on feeding my ego and helping me grow to some arbitrary subscriber number. By doing so, you are technically part of the 1% because 99% of my views comes from people who are unsubscribed. So hit subscribe and become part of the 1%. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.